integration between the combine train and UCCX. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is to create an application user for the integration. Okay, the user can name it UCCX AXI admin. Go down, that should be it. And I'm gonna check all those rows except the top two and the bottom one. Check that. Save it. Okay, now I create an application user for my UCCX. Now I have two UCCS typing my. Call manager FQDN. It tells me you uh, CCM is making fail because I don't know who's the AXL. Okay, now is something we're gonna do is to uh, we're gonna get to change it to IP okay still terms to fail okay there's no problem so we got it to upload a tomcat uh, through a car UCCX and that's how to OS just to let you know is there something new in 12.5 And in my call manager OS administration, I go to security certificate management. So line up a certificate type. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. Here's a Tomcat. This is Tomcat trusted CAE root certificate. I'm gonna upload this one to my UCCX. Now I'm on UCCS CM platform. Just type in this URL, you have it, and let's go into my UCCS OS. So under SimPath Security Certificate Management, I'm gonna upload for Tomcat Trust with my root CA certificate. And now it says to restart is now what we're going to do. And we're going to UTL's system restart. And it's gonna probably take 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna pause this. Here's the UCSX. We can continue with our integration. Let's add the call manager. And the UCSX license, we need to choose potential premium. Click. Enable and proceed. And now the license are activated. Click next. Next. All right, that's do some integration. User perfect was Jake Tappy. Let's go ahead and choose for IMCM. IMCM.
these steps are gonna create JTAPI and MSDM user and call manager. Check G7, 11, 400, and default US. All right, we haven't seen our users here, but I'm gonna create some local user in call manager. So in call manager, let's add a user. I'm gonna say it's UCCX anime. Choose UCCX admin. Go finish. Now we have complete our UCCX setup. Okay, back to our call manager. We're going to add a new line. And the line is for the uh, UCCX agent. Right. Now back to a one contain. So now we have two lines for each uh, CIPC. I have to go to user, the C CIMC to the second line for I IPC's extension. Also, Charles Holland. Now we're gonna do is go to application user, find the JTAPI that was created by a UCCX under control phone device association. Choose our all phones and save it. Also, add a new row, then the CTI allow. Go to allow device, save it.
next step is go to IMCM, find my phones, save it, go back. Uh, control all device, save. Okay. Subsystem, yeah. I'm CM resources. We're going to see our two users. And Go to IMCM skills. We'll add a skill. For that, for your US skill. Save it. No use. HK skill. On the subsystem resource group, we'll create a resource group RG, that's US RG, save it. And create one HK RG, save it. The USRG, that's right. So go to resource, insurance columns, USRG, of course, the US skill, that's US. Say columns one, let's move it. Say update, say Monica Chain, it's Hong Kong RG, Hong Kong scale five, US scale one. Site update right now. We're going to create our CSQ or contact service queues. The first queue, US CSQ. We'll make sure you use this RG. Prompt, no prompt, wrap time, no wrap time, that's next. I'll be longest availability, USRT, shoe resource, well, I had one, I gotta check, RG, USRG, no, that would be our resource. Okay. Okay, that's normal.
Ah, uh, I see. So, uh, and here, change at least in required five. So, Monica Chang as expert, US skill five updates. Holland, hold back, go back. Hong Kong scale 5 is from US scale that's 10. Okay, update. That's fine. And now we can see our CSQ. US CSQ. Based on the URG. US show resource. Okay, I think RG1 can see stack one, but skills can stack multiple. Let's do that. Q select one. Okay, they are here. Update. Now, okay, and then this one. HK, HK, CSQ. This time we in new auto wrap. Subsystem telephony then call control group. Add a call control group. On the description, say CCM telephony. Funny group. So make five. Prefix, what we say, ICD. Two four zero one device pool phone show more search space international petition CN voicemail no voicemail. Make it four, four, four. Four, 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 to the next one. Check add. Now we have a completed um, call control group setting up. Let's go back to our call manager. We find we have added a few ICD. Is it good? Add it like we expected, but 
they are not registered. Let me reset it. Still not registered. Go back to UC Sex. Serviceability. Okay, that's that's restarted. The UCCX engine is restarting. Okay. The app ports are all registered. If you see them on unregistered, not registered, so you go to serviceability, right? And you are going to restart to one service. That's going to be. Restart CDM Manager. Restart it and go back to uh, UCCX. Refresh and you will see your Cisco Unified CCX, CCX engine is now in service.